For some of us, it doesn't feel like Christmas until we hear Hark the Herald Angels Sing. We hear it while Christmas shopping, we'll certainly sing it sometime during the Christmas season, and we've listened to Charlie Brown and the Peanuts Gang sing it to close their Christmas special since 1965. Why do we like this carol so much? For many, it's the upbeat melody that brings joy and celebration into the season and into our lives. For others, this carol paints a picture of the night Christ was born, helping us to envision the angels in the sky singing glory to the newborn king. But for believers, it's also the richness and depth of the text that speaks to us. It's the promises and the strong theology, for over 27 scripture verses are referenced in this carol. Through Christ's birth, we are promised peace, mercy, and reconciliation with God. These promises are for everyone. Joyful all ye nations rise, light and life to all he brings. We are invited to tell the good news with angelic hosts proclaim, Christ is born in Bethlehem. Jesus is described as a king, everlasting Lord, incarnate deity, Emmanuel, the Prince of Peace, and Son of Righteousness. This carol also paints a picture of why Jesus came to earth. Born that man no more may die, born to raise the sons of earth, born to give them second birth. Friends, this promise is for each of us, that through Jesus we might have a second birth that gives us eternal life. That's truly cause for celebration and joy. But what of the title of this carol itself? What does Hark the Herald Angels Sing actually mean? When someone says hark, it means to listen attentively. A herald is one who carries or proclaims important news, a messenger. And since angels themselves are God's messengers, we need to listen attentively to this doubly important message of good news. And what is this good news? Well, the Israelites had waited centuries for the prophecy of a Savior to be fulfilled, and now it's finally happened. And the words God chooses to speak through his herald angels? Glory to God, peace on earth, goodwill toward men. It's interesting that God sent his messengers to do three things give glory to God, tell the world that the Savior has come to bring peace on earth, and remind them that God was for them and not against them. So what are we being called to do this Christmas season? It seems that we are to give glory to God by being keepers, even messengers of peace, and heralds of the good news that all is not lost, that there is hope, and that hope is named Jesus. So, go tell the world that Christ is born, be a messenger of God's peace. Give glory to God. And may you rest in the hope, love, and peace that is Christ, Emmanuel, God with us.